Okay, so in this walkthrough video, what we're what I'm going to do is actually go ahead and do the uh, setup wizard for the Hutu Titan trip, uh, the Hutu Tripmate Titan. So I still have uh, if you've been following the videos I've been making so far on this, uh, I'm still at the default settings. So I actually have no password here. If I go settings, so uh, if maybe you've uh, seen now that the uh, Upgrade firm the firmware has been upgraded. It looks like that uh, that issue with it not reporting properly is fixed. So uh, glad that's doing. So as I mentioned, I'm gonna do th I'm gonna go through the wizard uh, step by step process uh, before I actually go through the custom settings. So that way, for those of you that just want to follow the setup wizard, can do that and uh, you know you don't have to uh, <laughs> uh, labor your way through me talking about the all the additional settings or custom settings that I go through. But uh, yeah, let's get started with this. So I'm going to click next here. It will scan for internet wireless uh, devices. And do I want to provide, actually, I'm going to pause the video recording here and then just actually give it wired access. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's just skip this. And proceed with oh okay so here I can change the settings so it's actually just taking me to the Wi-Fi and LAN settings so uh, I actually won't connect it let's just uh, since I mentioned previously that I expect to operate this without a Wi-Fi without a internet connection so let me change this and then this will break here uh, once I change the SSID because but. Uh, Let's just remove the MAC address, right? So I remove these characters from the SSID. I'll leave it in this mode. So depending on, so here, if you only have, if you have devices that only operate on the 802.11n, then I would suggest doing that. But uh, for maximum compatibility, uh, I would leave it as default. With the B, G, and N, uh, definitely change the password here. Uh, so I will change it to, So, uh, for those of you who don't know this reference, it's to the uh, movie called Sneakers. Uh, that was one of the, uh, I think, believe the uh, anagram, right? Yeah, the anagram of that was Sea uh, Tech Astronomy. But uh, when you uh, rearrange them, it's too many secrets. Uh, which is a kind of cool password, at least temporary. I don't actually use this seriously. Uh, I only use this. This is my kind of giveaway password if I'm going to share it with anyone. But I definitely do not use this on any of my devices because of just people that know me would immediately get that. Um, here you can change the IP address if you notice here. This is a 10.10.10.254. Uh, if you want it, to, if you wanted to make this, give it a different setting. I personally am not going to change this. Even when I actually configure it for my custom settings, uh, I like having that it's a default because it's not going to operate in a network. So I'll just leave that there. So here are the channel. Uh, you can suggest you can select auto. Uh, I would recommend auto for those that aren't that don't want to mess with it or don't feel they need to. However, the uh, standard. How do I put this? The standard kind of operation in terms of how these channels are handed out. There are three major channels that these devices eventually bounce to. And the reason is that is that you get a lot of... Uh, they offer the best coverage of those channels. And typically, the three big channels are channel 1, you have channel 6, and then channel 11. So those are the three that immediately get jumped on there. If you have, if you live, if you live, are you going to be somewhere where there's a lot of uh, Wi-Fi devices, uh, especially operating on those specific channels, as I mentioned, uh, one, six, and eleven, you're you're going to get, you're going to be fighting over that channel. So uh, I would suggest rec I would recommend changing it. But for now, as I mentioned, auto is great. It works. It'll work for everyone here i'm going to stick with wpa2 uh, not a mixed this provides a bit more security you will still you know 
it's not complete security, but it is a better security than WPA. So we can do, we can stick with that. And so this will be the new password. If I click next, this will take me to changing the password for the login. So this is very bad practice. I would not recommend this, but I will keep the same password <laughs> that I have for my Wi-Fi SSID. So let me go ahead and click finish and I'll probably lose this connection and have to actually reconnect. But if you're physically doing this on a machine, let's click never. I actually don't want it to remember. Ah, okay, so this is gonna reboot. As I mentioned, I'm gonna lose this connection. I won't uh, force anyone to sit here and <laughs> wait the two minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording now and then come back once this is done. Okay, now that we've uh, had the, now that the firmware has been, uh, not the firmware, now that the setup guide has, done, has completed rebooting the device, we're back to our home screen. And if I just attempt to log in, it will complain because I changed my password. Uh, I believe if we click here, well, that's unfortunate. So we can't actually see what we're typing which can be an issue <laughs> if you can't touch type or if you don't want to actually look down onto your uh, keyboard, which can be. So what I do, and I find this pretty helpful sometimes, uh, usually most websites, uh, yes, this is a website, but it's also running off the web server on the little TripMate Titan. But uh, most sites will let you copy and paste your password in. So I type it correctly where I can see it. Click login and we're back in business. So now if I go back to settings, I should see, uh, I think device uh, network settings. So I'm gonna confirm that SSID here. Uh, then again, we won't be able to see the password here, which as I mentioned is a little unfortunate, but uh, as you can see, we've connected back up to the Hutu Titan after having gone through, after having gone through the setup wizard. And um, yeah, hopefully this helps you kind of get started quickly through the uh, Titan to use. So that's just the setup. There is no actual changing for the setting. So um, on the next video, what I'm gonna do is actually go through my own custom settings. So they're not gonna be that much different than the setup wizard, but uh, until next time, thanks for watching.